smoke weed every day. All right, guys, welcome to episode 70 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got Remy over here. Aubrey's in the back snoozing. We're back with another one, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Don't forget, thumbs up. Like the video if you like the video, and if you don't, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. How we feeling today, Marvin? Nah, nah, I'm going to tell you what. If you ain't fucking subscribed to my channel, then why the fuck are you fucking watching it? That's what I want to know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I want to know. Get Remy, it. what you think? You tell these guys. What do you think? He said get the fuck out of he here He said get the fuck out of here. He's looking at me like a fucking dunce. You see him? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, bro, we're back with another one, man. We appreciate everybody that's fucking been rocking, man. It's been a fucking journey. But, um, yeah, we're finally in the spot. We're tightening up. We got everything we fucking need. So ain't no more excuses, man. Ain't no more excuses. But um, something that, you know, talk about excuses. Something that uh, I just can't find a fucking single excuse for, bro, is, um, is killing your whole fucking family. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. no excuse for that shit. That's and if you crazy. guys don't know what we're talking about, there was a 17-year-old uh, uh, Indianapolis teen. Um, he was 17 years old. He ended up killing his entire family. Um, six people were killed in a shooting in Indianapolis. Um, a juvenile was taken into the hospital in critical condition. And, um, yeah, man, supposedly, allegedly... Um, the teenager shot his whole family dead, bro, because his dad told him that he couldn't go out to party. That's crazy. I mean, that. I mean, we were talking about it earlier, and I, you know, it's you think it's it's mental issues, but there has to be something demonic going on with your fucking yeah. mind or something, because it's like, yeah, you got a mental illness, but like, really, like, you must have some type of like. Nah, there's something. evil in your heart, yeah, bro. There there's you evil in your heart because there's no way, bro. He killed. You know what I'm saying? He killed his mom. He killed his dad. He killed his sister. He killed, almost killed his little brother. He killed a pregnant girl. And, you know, her and her unborn child fucking died. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's it, fucking like, horrible. Like, it was some, it was a crazy fucking situation. And, you know, re rest in peace to those, you know, to those people in that family, you know, that was affected, man. That's, that's unimaginable. I couldn't even fucking... You know, I wrap my head around that. But like you said, man, it's true, bro. I feel like it, it has to be something demonic about it. It has to be, there has to be something evil in your spirit, man. I know that when it comes to breeding, like I told you this earlier, when it comes to breeding animals, like especially dogs, if there's a trait like that in a dog, they get put down. If there's a, you know, an, if there's an aggressive trait or something like that, they don't want that to pass down in the bloodline. So they get rid of it. All together. Unless it's like a fighting dog or something. Yeah, right? but that that's different. Yeah. That's different. Like, yeah. But this fucking guy, like, in my opinion, bro, like, you need to be put to fucking sleep, like, ASAP. There's yeah. another kid that did almost the same thing, but it was just his mom. He shot his mom, bro, dead, because she told him to go get a I heard fucking it, job. I heard about that. And that was in New York. Yeah, I heard you know about what I'm that. Saying? So I don't know what's going on, bro. I don't know what frequencies are going around in the fucking universe right now, but it is some crazy shit happening. Like, the last person you least expect, bro, is your own kid. Your own kid. Like, you'd expect for a stranger to come up and do harm to you before your kid does. Yeah. And for you to tell your kid to get a job, to be a man, you know, that that other guy, he was like 22 years old or something. You fucking piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, bro. Yeah. Bum ass piece of shit. Yeah. Like, no, straight up. Nah, like, you you're are. A you are. You're a fucking piece of shit. You are. And I'm, and I'm not trying to like, I'm not laughing at, at, at the situation. I'm just laughing at the stupidity and, and what type of level you would have to be at to fucking murk your whole fucking family. Like, for real. Like, like what, what, like what goes to your mind at that time? And what, what happened throughout your lifetime that, that made you click? Just like that. Like something must have fucking happened to you or either just, just something demonic that got into your body. Because, you know, you ever hear those fucking yeah, murderers like, oh, that... Yeah, I was possessed Yeah, shit. like... I believe in shit like, like that, I do man. too. I do too. I'm not going to lie. Like, but it, like, I don't know, man. You can't just blame it on that. Like... Nah, I mean, I don't know. That's not... I, that's, I, it's not an yeah. excuse. Like, just because we believe it happens doesn't make it, you know, right. But... Regardless, man, you guys go down in the comments and let us know what you think is in the water or what the fuck is in these chemtrails. What is going on to where kids are just starting to kill their own fucking parents and their siblings and their own family, bro? Like, 
I, that, I just, that's some crazy shit. That's some that's some type of shit that's like you don't you don't hear of too much, you know. And it's like it's not players, normal. Yeah. It's not normal behavior at all, bro. To kill your own fucking family. Yeah, and the like, city the city that we're from too is like there was a, there was a murder like when we were like in high school. You remember that the Xbox murders? Yeah, it was the Xbox murder. Um, it was like what five people killed in one household or something like that. Some shit like that. Some yeah, crazy shit. And it was wild. Yeah, but they were all roommates, and there was like supposedly some drug shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, guys, for the people that know those people, you know what I'm saying. Our condolences go out to you, and we're not trying to bash nobody. Um, it's just something that that's, that fucking happened. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> like it's something that happened in our city. Yeah. But, but yeah, man, it, it's crazy, man. You gotta watch the people around you, and you gotta, you know, you gotta. You got to make sure you're keeping up with what your kids are doing and what they're watching and what they're getting into, bro, because it's that's fucking insane, man. It's kind of insane. Like, yeah, like and nowadays it's kind of hard to keep in contact with your kids. Well, I mean, it's just it's easy, but it's hard at the same time. Like you really have to be like cool. You got you got to really be connected to your parent. Like like I think like the best like I mean with your child, like the best way of like actually like being connected with like with each other, I think is being like in a group chat. You know, like, you know, just being in a group chat, like with your, like just being yeah, connected. Like throughout like, the day, you know, yeah. when, when you're at work, they're at school, whatever shit like that. But the best thing is always just being there, bro. Yeah, and, being there and like being, and yeah. showing them through fucking example. You know, sometimes that's not always going to fucking work out. That's not always going to work out. But for the most part, I feel like it does. You know, like when you lead by example, kids do what you do. They don't do what you say. Yep. So you lead by example, you get up, you work hard, you do what you're supposed to do, you pay your bills, and you're a fucking law-abiding citizen, your yeah. children are probably going to end up going around the same path. Yeah, like, stay, you know, like, like, I don't know, man, it's just like, there's little things about being a parent where it's like, you kind of have to, like, ride the wave, man, you gotta, like, technology's changing, and, like, the way that kids are, like, communicating, is like, everybody's being anti-social nowadays. Yeah, man, that's, it's some, like, that's something that's, like, honestly, bro, I wonder about... As, being like guys we don't have fucking kids right like neither one of us has kids yet but that's something that i fucking wonder about when we do because technology is only advancing you know what i'm saying it's not going backwards so when we do end up having kids like how the fuck is the world gonna be like how is communication gonna be you know because like let's face it bro this social media shit there's nothing social about social media at all it actually keeps you away from being social because when you're in a social environment, you're surrounded by people, you're like this. Yep. So it keeps you away from reality, you know, from actually being social. Exactly. So it's like, how the fuck is it going to be in another 20 years? You know, 15 <laughs> years. I watched like, I watched that documentary about uh, the social experiment, whatever. Yeah, shout out to Jay. He put us on. Yeah, yeah, Jay, the last guy in the fucking the episode. The fucking last guy, that piece of shit. Yeah, that piece of shit. It's 69, you get it? But, but fucking uh nah that makes sense but yeah now nah, we love you jake nah we love you man but yeah bro fucking yeah i was watching that social experiment shit and it's like it's true like people are like very distant from each other now uh they feel like they're closer because they are communicating through technology i, I just don't feel like that's that's correct i don't feel like it's normal like i feel like technology is like it's advancing like to to being good but it's also like there's a lot of bad stuff too like you're saying yeah, no, for sure, man. Technology is a give and take. It's like anything else. You know, it, it's great to use. It's great to have. But ultimately, it, it all depends on what you're using it for. You know what I'm saying? How you're using it. Like, yeah, because my grandma, she don't got fucking Facebook. Like, she does, right. but, like, it's not the same type of communication. She still wants to see you in person, bro. She still yeah, want to nah, hang out with yeah, you. Yeah, like, <laughs> nah, bro, yeah, that's the thing, like... <laughs> Like, that's what I mean. Social media has made it to the point where people think that that shit's reality. And it's like, like, you could only keep up with so much and you only know what the fucking person posts. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why social media is like, like, you can't let that shit become your reality because it's not reality. There's niggas out here that have a, a picture <laughs> standing in front of a mansion in a Lamborghini, but they're sleeping on their mom's couch. You know what I'm saying? There, and then there's motherfuckers out here that don't even have an Instagram, but they're riding a fucking Rolls Royce. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't let social media fool you, man. A lot of people get down on themselves because they feel like they're seeing so many people around them fucking you successful, know, being successful. And it's like, nigga, that's an Airbnb. He owes the fucking plug. His chain ain't real. And that coupe is running. Like, here's here's a like, what yeah, the fuck? Like, 
<laughs> like, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, right like, it's just like the guy off Instagram <laughs> where this fucking guy's like being picked up by a helicopter in a Lambo <laughs> until a girl fucking exposed his ass, right? And it's there. Oh the Lambo's my. there no matter yeah. what. Like, it's like a place where it's yeah, like. Yeah, you could just go take a picture. Yeah, you could take a picture with it. And then the helicopter is like a tourist. So it's always going up and down. Bro, you know who got, <laughs> you know who got caught capping hard? Bow Wow. Oh, bro. You remember that whole <laughs> Bow Wow challenge? That nigga got caught capping no, hard. Bro. Hard, bro. Bro, Bow Wow said, lost respect. He said, PJ, it, private uh, jet it, flights, <laughs> nothing less. And then five minutes later, a nigga posts him like, is this not Bow Wow right, right here? here? I'm in coach. Coach. <laughs> coach. <laughs> Like, homie was in the... Yo, even homie, have air. you can't even flex and then go to first class. Like, you got to flex and go to coach? Nah, bro. Nah, cap. that ain't it, Big bro. Cap. That ain't it, bro. And it, it, it's wild to Like, me, just man. be real, bro. Just be like, hey, man, fuck y'all niggas. I'm not paying 50000 for a flight. I'll pay three hundred. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I would have no problem telling somebody, hey, bro, you go spend that forty extra $49,000. I'm going to ride... I'm gonna ride Jet I'm, Blue. I'm gonna ride Jet Blue and save <laughs> thousands of dollars. Not facts, and still get there. My thing like, was is like, yo, like you were saying the other day, how like all these rappers they be spending their like ridiculous amount of money on like unnecessary shit. Like you know, you're getting fifty thousand dollar chains, sixty thousand dollar chains, but you can't you can't get a fucking uh, sixty thousand dollar or eighty thousand dollar bulletproof vehicle. Yeah, bro, I don't get that shit, man. You know what I don't I mean? get that. Like, yeah, we were having that conversation, and it's true. Bro, these guys spend fifty, a hundred thousand on a watch, a hundred fifty thousand on a chain. But you go tell them and be like, "Hey, bro, drop fifty thousand on your fucking truck so that nobody could shoot you in it." And they're like, "What? Like that? I don't, I don't get it. I don't make no sense. I don't get that shit." It's like that would be one of the first things I invest into if I ever come up on money like that, or when we come up on money like that, speak it into existence. Yeah. But when we do, bro, like I'm a nigga, I'm gonna get me a little bulletproof vehicle, man, because niggas hate. And, you know, it's all good until you actually make it and then you're actually there. And then niggas are like, yeah, that, that shit re- really grows. No, that no, hatred yeah. really grows yeah. and the envy grows even more. And, so, l- and let's not keep it a buck. Like, not all the people that become successful done, you know what I'm saying, like the perfect shit trying to get there. Like, there's some, nah, thing, like, like, there's some dirt not. that everybody's done. So it's always going to follow you depending on, you know, what level of dirt you did. You no, know what exactly. I mean? Who you did it to. It's all about yep. who you did it to. Yep. But, yeah, man. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. We live in a crazy time. Um, a, a crazy, a crazy fucking story that you was telling me earlier was about the mob cop. <laughs> oh yeah, like the yo, the, the this, mob. There's cop, literally guys. people out there that are like they really hate fucking corruption. Yeah, like, man. Like, and it, they they hate corruption, and they're fucking willing to spend their whole life. life working literally to stop that shit there's a fucking uh mob cop his name is gratari right and um yeah john was putting me up on game man i didn't know much about this but he was telling me how gratari you know he's been investigating and building a case against uh a family the mancuso family yep uh that's one of the families that's one of the families that that he's been working against and he's been working for fucking like 30 years and, uh, yeah, man, give us a little bit about this story because it's fucking interesting. Well, literally, it popped up on my phone and, you know, those NBC News and shit like that. Like, yeah, some stuff is interesting. Some, t- you know, some stuff yeah, some is kind of ass, whatever. Facts. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is fucking cool. This is history. You know what I mean? Facts. And, like, um, pretty much 350 people went to trial this month. You know what I mean? 62 has spent much of the last, like, pretty much he's he's 62 years old. He spent... He spent pretty much his whole entire life, decades, with bodyguards and police escorts. And he travels in an armored car. He says he hasn't been to a restaurant in over 20 years. That's fucking crazy. Listen, man. That's fucking nuts. How? It's because, bro, he, number one, he has fucking, he has balls. <laughs> like, you're, yeah, like, 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 you're going against the mob, bro. Bro. The mob. You don't even know if it's the judge that's the mob. Facts. You, you're just investigating <laughs> and fucking figuring it out along the way. Like, bro, like you're really, you might get fucked. Nah, you, yeah, nah. Listen. Like for real, seriously, because there's a lot of bad people in this world, and money, money brings like some fucking. Yeah, problems. money brings corruption, bro. Anywhere you go, money brings corruption. But that's like honestly, bro, that's something that's not a lot of 
people are willing to do that and take that lifestyle on because it's a hard lifestyle. You heard what he just said, nigga. A restaurant, you haven't gone to a restaurant in over 20 years. Imagine that. Ask yourself, like, guys, like, when's the last time you've been to a restaurant? I went to a restaurant the other fucking day. Yeah, we facts. both did. Right, so facts. imagine not going for 20 years just nah, because you're investigating bro. and you're a cop and you're trying to get people and bring them down. That's hey, so fucking I salute, stupid. man. I salute, you know, if that's what you want to do with your life and that's what <laughs> makes you happy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you but go, mind your fucking you go business. for it. But yeah, why you gotta be a piece of shite? You nah, know what I mean? Nah. Fucking Ricky and Marvin over there, fucking, you know, they, they doing a little dirt, but who cares? Who does it? Bro, this courtroom, they, they have cages that hold defendants. Oh my God. And the space is over a thousand people that's able to fit in there. Jesus. 900 witnesses with 400 lawyers involved. Oh my my god yo listen first of all that family's fucked no that family's fucked man For real? nah yeah that family might they be said fucked. they have fifteen thousand pages of evidence and twenty four thousand hours of conversation they said it took more than three hours to read out the names accused <laughs> yo listen the whole family's out of here. Yo, that fuck the whole family's out of here i don't bro. know they might have some good lawyers nah bitch they better have a lot of money they better, oh, they, they better do. To, they they be- said the family made 53 billion oh, euros. Lord. That's pretty Lord. much 64.5 billion. That's more than the banks and McDonald's combined. And they said that they got That's people- why they're trying to go after them. Yeah, they got Because people- they made more money than the fucking banks. Exactly. So now combined. the banks are like, fuck you, give me my money. Basically. And they're saying, That's yo. That's crazy, man. They got people- nigga can't work for shit without the government trying to take it. They got, like, what the fuck? Bro, but the thing is, the government is pretty much involved in this, too. We got people like the of senators, course. the police chiefs, the lawyers, the local council. Bro, listen, council. they all got to be bought out for this shit to work. All of them niggas got to be paid off for that for that machine to keep fucking flowing. For real. Yeah. Like, if you look at any mob movie, like, they had cops under their fucking belt. They had politicians. They had judges. You know, they fucked with a lot of fucking important people. The mob is the mob, nigga. They fucked with the people that are empowered. They Facts. aligned themselves with the people that are in power, not the people, not the niggas that nobody cares yeah, about. They laundered money, they did murders, attempted murders. You know, there was little kids that got like, killed. I mean, it, it, that's not normal in the mob shit. You know what I mean? Listen, with man, kids. honestly, bro, some people got killed for nothing. Other people deserved it. That, that's how I feel. That's what anything, bro. There's people out there that die that that don't deserve to die, man. And then there's people that die that just like, nah, you're a piece of shit. Like you had that coming. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. I mean, honestly, bro, like, to touch on that on that whole, like, snitching shit or whatever, like, I just, I don't know, man. I just wasn't raised to, to do that. Yeah. You know, like, ever since I Likewise. was a kid, like, moms was always like, yo, stop being a tattletale, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. Stop, like, yeah. That's not right. Yeah, like, you don't tell them. Like, if it's not your business, it's not your business. Yeah, mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Was, Straight up. Yeah. Like, so, I just don't agree with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to that, that mob cop, whatever, you know. If that's what he decided to do with Salute. his life. Salute, man. Because you're doing I, a hell of a job. Yeah, I hope it pays off for you, man. Yeah. You know? I hope it pays off in whatever you're trying to do. But I don't agree with it. You I don't agree saying? with like, it either. <laughs> like, you literally spending your whole life just trying to fuck other people's lives up. If that's, if you really want to think about it. I mean, this family's you're so strong. You're spending your whole life, nigga, just trying to get people thrown in jail. <laughs> this, it's a prosecutor. <laughs> like, that's a that's, that's, that's what shit. you do. That's what you do. And that's that's our vice president, by the way. But let's not let's not go there. But um, no, yo. But anyway, no. Let's but no. But anyways, but let me to finish off this comment. We'll get there. We'll actually get there. But Bad but fact. Luigi Mancuso, um, he's also known as the uncle, mm. and Theo Theo made up my Yo, who served 19 years in prison, and he's and he's pretty much the leader of these powerful families all put together because there's multiple. You know, what I mean, it's not just of one. Of course. And then it's, they're pretty much saying that it's more powerful than the Sicilian mafia. Listen, man, if they've survived this long without being known, they got power, bro. They got fucking power for They sure. got power, and they got fucking rank, and they got people in places that you don't even want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to know. You don't even want to fucking find out, bro. Nah, that's wild to me, man. Fucking, yeah, I don't want to nah, be in the mob. Fuck that, bro. Like, everybody needs money, but there's certain shit I'm just not willing to do, bro, like risk your whole fucking life like that spend your whole life like i don't know no nah, no nah, people know. just be living up to a lie sometimes man like like i was saying like when we came Facts. back we came back and we talking about the whole vice president your vice president right now 
was basically a prosecutor that locked up a lot of fucking innocent and not innocent fucking black men. And I'm not saying like we shouldn't involve color and stuff like that, but y'all want to talk about how oh like they're praising and they're fucking saving y'all. What the fuck are they doing right now? Deadass, what have they fucking done right now to literally change what the fuck we've been doing in the past? Nah, bro. It's just you know it's another it's just it's another piece of shit in the same toilet. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. really all it is. Like, I don't know. If, if we want to get honest here, man, I personally feel like Trump wasn't that bad of a fucking president. You know what I'm saying? People could kill me for it, whatever. I don't support the guy. I don't support... We never voted. Yeah, I never voted, man. I, he, I, I don't support voted. Trump. I don't support Biden. Yeah. But <clears throat> you got to call a spade a spade. And I really feel like Trump, besides getting people's feelings hurt, you know, besides people getting their feelings hurt, Trump wasn't really a bad fucking president overall. He actually, you know, he let out some people from prison that shouldn't have been in fucking prison to begin with. That other presidents had the opportunity to let out and they didn't. Yeah. You know, and like men that were in prison for decades for fucking nonviolent drug offenses. Yeah. I mean, you know, niggas getting caught with a couple of pounds in the fucking 80s and they've been in prison ever since. <coughs> like, come on, bro. Like, like just, let them niggas out. No, it's not you know even that. It's like, okay, he said this and that and that. Okay, well, what about all the other people that are still having TV shows right now to this very moment going on air, but they said some wild shit in the past, but you don't see protesters and people saying, get them off. The, like, bro, nah, like, bro. Like, Honestly, on, bro. I, I didn't like Trump. I'm going to keep yeah. it 1,000%. When I first heard about Trump, I didn't like him. I didn't like what he stood for or whatever. Facts. But the way that I saw every fucking body hate on this nigga everyone every single person i fucking ran across it, hated on this nigga i was like i gotta like him i got to you, i have to bro because it's like do you see the documentary no, like, of this like, man it's crazy bro do you have you seen the documentary of this man this guy barely sleeps this guy dead ass barely sleeps this guy works harder than you your grandfather and your fucking daddy and mama Facts. combined together Facts. so i don't want to hear y'all say anything about any politician because i'm pretty sure they all do the same shit Nah, bro you gotta think you know about it I mean? like this trump was the first non-politician to make it to be a fucking president let me say that again he was the first non-politic this nigga wasn't in politics all these other niggas been in politics their whole life they've been senator this governor this no no there, like, there was a couple actors too like reagan reagan was an actor before yeah but bro he's he he's a celebrity bro Reagan yeah. might have acted at some point in his life, but he wasn't known as an actor. Yeah. Like, Trump wasn't known as a politician. He was known as a celebrity. A celebrity? A, a reality TV star. And a businessman. And a businessman. But mostly, he his face got known, bro, because of his fucking show. Oh, yeah, that show. You're fired! He, that's a fucking reality TV show. You're so fired. a reality TV star fucking made it to be president. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of whatever, you got you got to respect that fact. You got to respect that. You have like, to. I don't like, like I said, I'm not a Trump supporter. I could give a fuck less about politics because as, as Johnny Boy, he hears me say it all the time. Either way, I think you're getting fucked. So I don't support Trump or Biden or whoever the fuck. I just want to make it be clear that people need to stop thinking with their fucking feelings, man, and start thinking with a little bit of logic. And sometimes something that makes you feel a certain type of way isn't intended to make you feel type of way. Maybe you just got to look, you know, at yourself or, and be like, hey, I need to stop being so fucking sensitive. Or maybe the information that you're getting it from, maybe the source ain't really 100% correct. It may be partially correct. Like if you're watching something on the news, do you really think that people on the news on any station, I don't care what station it is, like, come on, bro. Like, why... I'm not. I'm, I think we already spoke about this. We already went into yeah, t bro. TV, but that and, that, and it's, that, it, it gets that goes that goes down a slippery yeah. slope because yeah. the argument then becomes is like, well, then what makes your fucking what makes your fucking website the correct one? Yep. Because you don't. Nobody fucking knows. Bro. No one knows. No one knows. There's all these websites. There's news stations. There's bit shoot. There's this over here. I'm there's talking mainstream though. More you know mainstream. What I'm saying? Like, but. You know, you don't know what's real and what's not, bro. And that's why it's so easy to fucking confuse manipulate. people and yeah. manipulate. Because it's like when you don't know what's real and what's not, then you take it all as fact. Yeah. I mean, y'all you know? like, let us know. What do you guys think? Like, do you guys think that, you know, the mainstream media is, is pretty corrupt? Or do you think that maybe we're just fucking nuts? 
Who knows? It could be one or the other. We don't know. <sighs> nah, ass. bro. It's all corrupt. It's all corrupt, man. Just let us know. Comment. Let us know. We're Facts. about to wrap shit up anyways. Facts, man. But, yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to thumbs up, like this video if you like the video, and subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe and like the video, get the fuck out of here. Get the here. fuck out of here, right. I'll throw this fucking Henny bottle at you. Don't do it, mom. Don't do it. I'll you're, you're lucky you I stopped him. I'll fuck you're lucky you up. I stopped him, man. He would have done it. Peace out. But yeah, guys. Peace and love, baby. Catch you on the next one.